from All Sing Out Tarot, here with your bi-weekly uh, readings for the month of March 1st through the 15th for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's happening with you guys. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? March 1st through the 15th. Y'all see me struggling trying to shuffle these. These damn things hurt. I'm telling you. I feel like they're going to cut my fingers. Oh, my God. Okay. I got to do this a different way because this is not going to work. Maybe I'll side shuffle. <clears throat> Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Give me Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, Sag. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Sag. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, Sag. Under the Ace of Pentacles, you got the Five of Swords. Under the Five of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords. Under the Three of Wands is Death. Wow. Wow. And under the Ace of Cups, you got the Star card. Overall energy is the Knight of Wands. All right, Sagittarius, so you're struggling with something really bad. Right now, you're struggling. Okay? You feel fucked over. Not only in finances, opportunities, uh, financial opportunities, but also love opportunities. I'm not going to lie. Slim pickings right now. Okay? It's a very tough time for you, Sagittarius. But it is, and I have to tell you this, it is the justice to what was already afforded to you. Listen to me. Every now and then you got to pay for everything that you've had in life. Sometimes if you were privileged, if you had a really good spell or bout of, you know, uh, good luck coming in. Okay. Maybe you went two years and it was just really great for you. You had all kind of partners offering you love and affection. And even though you didn't choose none of those lovers, you had it. You had the opportunity to choose what you wanted. Okay? Then you must expect that every now and then you're going to go through a bout of sort of like um, the take back. Taking back all those opportunities. Okay? Okay? Now, what I feel, Sagittarius, is what, what I'm looking at here, I feel like you had an opportunity that you really passed up. It could have been due to infidelity. You had a really good partner in your life, okay? Somebody that uh, may have been any other zodiac sign, maybe a water sign. <clears throat> but I get the sense that um, when this person, when you were with this person, you got angry because maybe you felt like they left you. They, they, they weren't very supportive to you. And you held a grudge towards this individual. Okay? So it, it's like somebody doing you wrong, Sagittarius. And when they come back, they apologize for the wrongdoing. But you don't get over it. You want to get back. Okay? You want to get back at this person. Another thing I see in these, this reading is narcissistic behavior. I see uh, the both of you doing wrong by each other. Neither one of you are right, okay? But you're pointing a finger at that person. And instead of throwing yourself under the bus and, and talking about the way in which you may have done this person wrong, you're only looking at the wrong that they've done to you. And you're carrying that bitterness around with the Queen of Swords being here, okay? You're only remembering, you weren't there for me. You didn't support me. This is immaturity at its best. This is about ego and immaturity and that needing to die off so that you can move forward with your next step. Okay? 
I see the three of wands here with the death card, the ace of cups and the star. This could be about, and then that knight of wands being the overall energy. So I always keep that in my mind whenever I read any of these cards. I kind of get the sense that you may have been involved in something that was already well established, meaning that you were screwing somebody's husband, somebody's boyfriend, somebody's girlfriend, somebody's wife. You were a third party in a relationship that was already well established. And you want that relationship. And you try to do anything that you could possibly do to keep that relationship. But the problem is, it did not belong to you. Okay? But you still keep hope. You keep hope that you're going to get a second chance. You're going to get a second opportunity to be with this person. I'm here to tell you, Sedge, that's not going to happen. All right? That is not going to happen. Let that person go. They're already established. Spirit says to me that the actual partner that they gave you. There's people outside. The actual partner that they gave you, you don't like. You don't feel like it fits you. You don't like them because maybe they leave you desolate. And and, and there's a lot of, you know, um, intervals. There's a lot of uh, separations that go on in this relationship. The actual partner for you. Okay, so this person may be a water sign. I feel like it's water. There's a lot of separation that goes on between you and this person. And you don't like it. But this is just what the doctor ordered. Okay, because it kind of represents to me that you're learning codependency. You're learning how to get rid of that. Of course, everybody wants their partner with them 24-7. But it goes overboard with you a little, Sagittarius. You don't like to be without your partner. You want your partner there all the time. You want to control everything that goes on in your relationship. And Spirit is trying to teach you how to give up control. But instead of giving up control and learning your lesson... You just hate this person. It's like you're angry towards this person. And you're just like, no, I'm just going to get me somebody else. And then what you end up doing is you end up trying to move forward from this individual who happened to be teaching you your lesson, who happened to be a soulmate for you or a karmic soulmate for you. And you move on into something that you can't possibly have. It's like, I don't like what spirit gave me. I don't like the boyfriend or the girlfriend that spirit gave me. But I like the way yours look, okay? Yours look well-established, and they look like they're very committed, and I want what you have. I don't want what I have. Never realizing, Sagittarius, that it took some time for that person to build that man or to build that woman. So you want something that is already completely done. You want food that is already cooked, fast food. You don't want to prepare the meal yourself. And let me tell you a secret, Sagittarius. If you don't learn how to prepare the meal yourself, then you can't expect to be with somebody for the rest of your life. You can't expect to have that happy-go-lucky relationship that lasts 10 years plus. You got to be willing to get your hands dirty. And you have to be willing to go through some tough times, some very tough times. And sometimes you're, gonna, you're not going to know whether you have a relationship or not. But this is the ingredients that go into building a partnership that's going to be strong, that's going to last. It's the foundation. It's putting the work to the foundation. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords tells me that you left something half-baked, half-cooked. Okay? And you went after something that was already done. It was already prepared, already had establishment. But it doesn't belong to you. It's not your meal. You didn't prepare it and you did not cook it. Therefore, spirit has to take it. Okay? They have to take it. They have to cut you out of this meal. This is not yours. You, however, got to go back and maybe get a recipe book and try to figure out how to finish your meal Okay, so that you could eventually get to the place that this person is at in their marriage, in their relationship. That's very difficult because I don't usually see that for Sagittarius. Okay, so I guess I, I would say to about this reading, this reading was about um, infidelity or looking at other people's boyfriends or husbands or other people's relationships and wanting it for yourself. And, and the truth of the matter is, it doesn't belong to you, okay? And I'm going to tell you the truth, Sagittarius. I can bet your ass that you don't even love that individual. 
You don't love them. It's just that you don't like to lose. Come talk to me. I'll sing out tarot at gmail.com. In the subject line, put how many minutes you want to book. 30, 20, 60. <clears throat> we'll talk about it. Okay? Because I see that a lot with Sagittarius. Your ego, you know. Um, not being able to handle if a man leaves you for another woman or a woman leaves you for another man or, you know, um, not being able to handle that you didn't win the partner, you know, so it frustrates you. But spirit said that you have your own. You just have to cook it. <laughs> I love you much. I will see you again around the 15th Sagittarius. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. And like I said, I'll see you around the 15th. Thank you.